Hello, this is Mr. Montgomery. This video is for my Physics 1 lab students, and in this video we're going to be looking at pendulums. A pendulum is a mass on a string swinging back and forth. We want to look at several things. How is the period of that pendulum, the period is the time it takes to make one complete cycle, so it says at its starting point, how long does it take to return to that starting point? How is that period affected by the length of the string, the mass of the pendulum bob, and the amplitude, or how much we pull the pendulum back in the first place. So we're gonna be measuring each of those three variables, and then you're gonna be making some graphs based off of those. So you're gonna make a graph based off the period versus the amplitude, the period versus the mass, and then with your length and your period, you're gonna be making three graphs. You're gonna graph first the period versus the length, you're also then gonna look at the period versus the length squared. So whatever the length of the string is, square that, graph that with the period. And then lastly over here, the period squared versus the length. So after we've measured the period, square that, graph that against the length. Because you're gonna see in your questions, your questions are gonna ask you eventually, out of these three period versus time graphs, which one really truly shows you the best relationship between the period and the length of your string. When we measure the length of the string, we're measuring from the pendulum clamp that we're gonna be using down to the middle of the mass is how we measure, measuring to the center of mass for that pendulum. All right, so let's get everything set up and we'll start looking at some numbers. Looking at our materials and our setup, first of all, make sure you've printed out your lab handout if you haven't done that already so that you can record the data as we're going through our experiment. But we're using our lab quest here to make all of our measurements and calculations. We have a photo gate here. This photo gate's gonna be sitting down on the floor so that this pendulum can swing back and forth through the photo gate. The lab quest then is gonna be calculating the time it takes for each period to occur. We've got our scale so that we can measure each of our pendulum bobs mass later on when we need to do that. Um, we've got a protractor so we can measure our angle. And then I have this pendulum clamp up here at the top. This clamp allows me to very easily change the length of the string by loosening one of these screws and making the string go up or down here to shorten or lengthen the whole thing. Other thing about this clamp is it really easily allows me to hang my tape measure off the back right here. And so you can see right now, I have the brass pendulum bob set up at a length of one meter. And again, we're measure this length, we're measuring right down here to the center of the mass. So we're gonna use one meter on this first part and we're gonna be changing the angle of the string using those different angles then, calculating what the period is. So let me get that all set up and we'll get going. So I've adjusted my photo gate so that my pendulum's gonna swing right through the middle of it and be able to trigger its sensors. You may be able to see these red lights flashing right here. Remember using one length or one meter of length. We're gonna use the brass pendulum bob for each of these amplitude measurements. And I've got my lab quest here talking to my photo gate with all the correct uh, setup going on. We're going to use this protractor to measure our angle. So when we hold it up here, we're at 90 degrees. This first amplitude we want is 5 degrees. So I'm pulling this back 5 degrees or pulling it back to 85. And I'm going to start my lab quest here. And I'm going to let this begin to swing. On my lab quest, you're gonna see it begin to plot some data right here. Once it's plotted at least five data points, we can go ahead, stop this data collection. When it wants to stop, there it is. All right, and so you see kind of a crazy looking graph, but this period is really zoomed in from two seconds really the two seconds. So we wanna get the average for each of these periods. I'm gonna to go to analyze, statistics, we're studying the period, and right here. So our average period, or the mean period for five degrees, 
0.31 seconds. Uh, this is the average period at five degrees. We want to do the same type of thing at some other angles as well. So the next one we want to do is a, I'm going to do a 10 degree angle. So I'm going to again take my protractor. This time I'm going to pull back 10 degrees so the protractor looks like it's at 80. I'm going to start my data collection. Let it go. Again, we're watching the graph here being plotted as it swings back and forth. I got five data points. I'm going to go ahead and stop. This time we'll do the same thing. We want to analyze the period. This time we get an average period right here. The mean 2.00453 five three seconds 2.004353 seconds all right that was at 10 degrees this time i'm going to go for 15 degrees we're doing five of these the last one we're going to do is going to be at 30 degrees so this is our third test at 15 degrees let me get the lab quest going let it swing Bring it up here, view of the camera. All right, that's five data points. We can stop our collection. And now we can get this average. So analyze statistics, the period. This time we get an average, a mean period of 2.007499. 2.007499. That was 15 degrees. All right, we need two more measurements. This time I'm going to go for 20 degrees. I'm going to pull the protractor back to 70. Start my collection. There we go. And starting to plot data here again. Give it just another second right there. All right, I'm going to stop that. And now we're going to analyze this, get the average of those. And we have 2.009878. 2.009878. That was 20 degrees. One more test. We're going to go 30 degrees this time. Alright, so I'm pulling this all the way back to 60. Start my data collection. Let it go. You see a much wider amplitude this time. So we're collecting our data. Alright, I can go ahead and let that stop. And now we can come back, analyze this 30 degree angle. And we have an average of 2.025813 seconds. 2.025813 seconds. All right, so again, those five measurements, we were testing different amplitudes. Next, we want to change the length of our string. And doing the length of the string, we're going to use 15 degrees every time. So we already have a measurement for a one meter length at 15 degrees. So you can take that measurement and put it on this next chart. But I'm gonna go ahead and change this length now to 120 centimeters and we'll start from there. So now we wanna begin measuring the length, see how the length affects the period of our pendulum. So I'm down here at 120 centimeters, which is just about the maximum you can get in this room with this table and these clamps. So at 120 centimeters, we're going to use the brass pendulum on all of these. We're going to use 15 degrees on all of these. So those variables will not change. That way, the only variable we're looking at is the length of the string. So I'm going to pull back to 15 degrees right here. Let's start my data collection. 
discard the last one. All right, and let it swing. So at 120 centimeters, you can tell this takes a little longer. All right, so we're gonna stop there. We're gonna analyze this data and we get an average period of 2.199643 seconds. 2.199643, that mean right there. All right, so we've already done 100 centimeters at 15 degrees with brass. So you can use that same data. So I'm gonna change this now to a length of, we'll go for 85 centimeters next. We're now at 85 centimeters. We're still gonna use 15 degrees. I realized in my instructions it said to use 10 degrees, but really as long as you're using the same angle for all of these, it's not going to make a difference what that angle is. So as long as we're consistent. So we brought our photo gate up a little higher, making sure the pendulum's still gonna swing through the middle of it here. I'm gonna get my angle at 15. My lab quest ready here and let it swing. So we got our data plotting here. There's five, and we can stop that collection now. So we're going to analyze again, there were 85 centimeters. We have an average period of 1.847. 404 seconds. 1.847404. All right, that was 85 centimeters. Um, I'm going to change this now to 70 centimeters for the next one. Now we're set up for a length of 70 centimeters. You may notice I brought my photo gate up about as far as it could go. Had to lower my clamp here just a little bit so that it kind of meet in the middle to make sure that photo gate's set where it needs to so the mass will pass through. All right, but we're at 70 centimeters, still using a 15 degree angle, still using the brass. I'll start my lab quest and let it go. And so as our data's being plotted here, give it just another second or two and we can stop that. We can analyze and at 70 centimeters give an average period of 1.677666, 1.677666 seconds. All right, so that was 70. Last length we want to do is 50 centimeters. So I will get that ready to go. Now for our final length measurement, we are now at 50 centimeters. I'm going to get my angle at 15 degrees. Start on my lab quest. Let it swing. Collecting our data. We got five points. So I'll stop that. Now to analyze. So at 50 centimeters, we have an average period of 1.415834 seconds. 1.415834 seconds. And so now the last part, we want to now change our mass. So what we're going to do next is just measure the mass of each of these pendulum bobs. I'm going to go ahead and turn my scale on right here and I'll start with the aluminum so a piece of aluminum is 24 grams 24 grams for aluminum place the brass the brass is at 70 grams now our plastic our plastic is at 14 grams and then finally or wood, wood is seven grams. Now, what I'm gonna do with each of these pendulums 
is I'm just going to leave them here at 50 centimeters. As long as they all have the same length, it's not going to matter what that length is. I'm just going to swing these all at 15 degrees as well. In the instructions, it says 20 degrees. That's fine as long as they're all the same, doesn't matter. And so that way, the brass, we've already done brass at 50 centimeters and 15 degrees. We don't need to do it again. So you can just record the same number you had on the last setup. So I'm with the aluminum now. I'm gonna put my aluminum here at 50 centimeters, 15 degrees. I'm gonna let that swing to measure this period. And we'll stop that. Yeah, there we go. Analyze statistics. For this aluminum now, we have an average period of 1.409589. 1.409589. All right, so like I said, we've already done the brass. We don't need to do it again. We'll switch over to plastic. I'll take this plastic back 15 degrees. Lab quest started here and let it go. All right, that's enough data points. We can stop again. Analyze, try to keep the glare off the screen. We get an average period 1.403269. 1.403269. And now we're going to do that one more time for our wooden pendulum bob. Same way, 15 degrees, 50 centimeter string. There you go. And we can stop there. Analyze. So finally for our wood, we have an average period of 1.394191. 1.394191. So that does it for the experiment part, but quick pointer here on making your graphs. We discussed at the beginning, you have five graphs you need to make as you begin to analyze this data. When you're doing your graphs, you wanna make sure your origin shows up at zero, zero. That's the only way you're truly gonna see the relationship between these variables. If your graph is zoomed too far in, you might think there's a slope when really if you zoomed far out, you would have a horizontal line. So be careful, especially when you're looking at things like the period and the amplitude and the period and the mass, to make sure this origin right here is set at zero, especially on the Y axis. And so, hope you got all the data you needed there. As always, if you need extra help, uh, those of you that are my students, feel free, reach out to me, and I will be glad to help you out.